Round number nine of Chess Olympia, the 2024 USA against Hungary. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg and today, my friends, we will be watching the main game in a highly anticipated match between the United States of America against Hungary. We are approaching the money time, don't forget it! And every game will determine who takes the gold medal, who brings home the silver and who will secure a spot in top 3 of the world and win the bronze. Let's get started! So, this game was played in board number 3 of this match US against Hungary, we have with white pieces Lanier, Dominguez and with the black pieces Sanan, Sujirov, let's see it, e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes, knight takes, knight f6, knight c3 and a6, the knight of opening. He played a move bishop e3, but as you know, h4, this is our move, right? So, h4, okay, bishop e3, e5, knight b3, bishop e7, f3, bishop e6 and you know, after f3, White is telling, you know, I will play g4, h4 and uh, trying to attack in the king's side while I'm playing queen d2 and long castle. And black will try to play bishop e6, short castle, b5, b4, a5, knight bd7, rook c8 and trying to attack in the queen side. So it's really a really race and who will come first, who will take the win? Let's see it. Bishop e6, queen d2. Now there is interesting move h5 here, just to avoid a move g4. But he played the move castle, long castle and knight bd7. g4, b5, g5, b4. He played the move knight to e2. Let's see what happened after g takes f6. b takes e3, queen takes e3 because don't forget that after f takes e7, c takes d2, we check. So of course queen takes e3, knight takes f6. And the next moves will be something around, I don't know, rook c8, a5, a4, maybe d5 in some ways. And this looks very fine for uh, for black, I, I like it, I can tell you. But after b4 he played the move knight e2, knight e8 and f4. And as you can see we are only 14 moves in this game and they are playing super fast, you know. a5, f5, attacking this bishop and now black played the move a4. Another option was to play bishop c4, but now I think king b1 with after a4, knight bc1, and the next move will be knight g3 and exchanging this pair of bishops. So I think a4 was uh, the best move here. f takes c6, uh, a takes b3, and c takes b3. As you can see here, uh, Dominguez already thought 8 minutes, so it seems that he was, um, you know not in his prep uh, in this position. F takes e6, king b1 and now rook takes a2. What a sacrifice of rook. Let's understand. Now, after king takes a2, queen a8 check, king b1 the only move and now queen takes e4, queen d3, queen takes h1, bishop h3, now queen c6, bishop e6, king h8 in this position black has one pawn up and yeah it seems very good for black. So Let's see what happened. After bishop h, you know, rook a2, bishop h3 was played, he didn't take the rook on a2. And as you can see, Sujirov is playing very fast. Rook a5, this was a blunder. He played it un un after 11 minutes. And of course, it's not so easy. It's, I, I will not ca call it blunder, because blunder, it's like, you know, mistake, and, oh, what I did. But rook a5 looks very interesting move. The best here was to play queen a5. Bishop takes e6, king h8, and now after bishop d7, there is rook a1, check, king c2, queen c7, check, king d3, rook takes, rook takes, and queen d7. And this position looks very bad uh, for white, because knight c7, d5, this king on d3 is not seems good, the rook is in a good file, so yeah, I like here for black. So, rook a5 was a not uh, the best move, bishop e6, king h8, and now the move was knight g3, this was a miss. But the best here was just unbelievable. You know what? You can stop the video now and think by yourself, how can you win here after queen takes b4? Queen takes b4, d5 looks very strong for black because you're attacking the queen, d4 the next move, knight c5 will come, knight c7, queen a8, oh no, we are losing, but hey, bishop b6, what a move. 
It's really crazy move, it's, you know, like computer one. After knight takes b6, the rook is under attack, so we are up in exchange and winning the position. And after queen takes, just queen takes c7, and yeah, this is game over. The knight is under attack, the rook here, so yeah, just losing. And after um, bishop takes b4, just bishop takes d8, rook a8, and rook takes d5 with a, a very good advantage. So he played the move knight g3, of course, he missed it, but... It's very difficult, I can tell you that I, I will miss it 100%. So, knight c7, bishop c4, and now queen a8. Sujirov is playing fast with confidence, let's see what happens. Rook f1, takes, takes. Rook a1, king c2, takes, takes, and now d5. And yeah, 26 moves of the game were passed, and wow, Sujirov has 1 hour and 18 minutes. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. Queen f2. You know, uh, the point here was to play queen f7. Now g6, h4, queen f8, takes, takes, bishop h3, takes, takes, knight e5, bishop a7, and now knight f4, 20 minutes that Sujirov thought. I can tell you that overall it seems that white is uh, who pressing here because, you know, this pawn on b4 and this pawn on e5 will be really, um, you know, weak. And of course, bishop b8, for example, bishop f1, bishop c4. These bishops very strong in the, in open position, right? As we already learned. So knight f4, bishop c8 was played. Knight g2 attacking this pawn on h4. Just bishop f2, uh, good move. And h6, king d3 takes, takes. Knight h7, knight h7, he thought about it 33 minutes. Because he thought, you know, I have only four, mi four moves to play until uh, I got the the 40 the, the 30 of course minutes uh incre increment so knight h7 you know i can tell you that we will talk about playing um more than 20 minutes of thought it's not good sign but let's see knight f3 was played bishop d6 bishop b7 dominguez is playing with seconds on his clock is unbelievable king g7 king c4 and now knight f6 knight g5 was the last move uh, for 14 minutes, uh, 40 moves, of course, and 30 uh, minutes increment for Dominguez. Knight g4 was played, bishop c5, and now in the 41 move, Sujirov is doing the mistake. Knight 4 to e3. Check, and now uh, it was a mistake. Let's see what he needs to play. Bishop takes, king takes, and now knight takes a4. King takes b4, and now, you know, starting to play very fast. I don't know, something about knight f2, knight d1, knight d3, knight f5, king f6 with running this pawn. So, yeah, it's of course very complicated because this pawn is running very fast. But, uh, yeah, I, what was in the game is very uh, strong for white because he, he has some a lot of tempos. As you can see, bishop c5 just knight f f4 e3 takes 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 knight h4 and now just b4 is running b5 b6 bishop c6 and knight e6 incredible move uh, by dominguez knight g4 b7 and king b6 and now sujiro resigned the game of course after the move knight e3 b3 very slowly move and knight c5 knight a6 and knight e7 will be checkmate very soon so ladies and gentlemen dominguez brings home for USA a very important win in this match and because of him you know United States of America two and a half Hungary one and a half and United States will bring a very important game match against India today so let's see maybe they will steal the gold medal for India or India will crush them with their talented uh, gentlemen's Let's see it, and if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. We already passed 1.5k subscribers. See you soon in the next videos. Round number 10. Bye-bye.